it's just so awesome, man. I just, I can't get over it, but. It wasn't supposed to rain today. Well, I guess we could scratch that one off the list today. And how about this? We go downstairs, we'll work on some drones or something like that. I'll bring you guys with me. You know what? Let's build a shorty. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see what all comes in inside the packaging when you purchase a Parat shorty or punch. So let's see. All right, so there's some baggies here. ETX slider, L-shaped key with the Torx bit, carbon fiber keychain, your lipo pad. It's pretty dope. Nice strap. Wow, that is thick. Uh, awesome. Dope strap. Oh, carbon, four arms individually wrapped, top plate, bottom plate, squash plate, and the key. What is in here? Oh, all the hardware. And there's something else. Oh, sweet. Get yourself some Parat stickers. Oh, where this one's going. Right there. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll also toss one of these right here. Bam, MPV is not a crime. Sweet. What I'll do, and that's all that comes in the container. It's a nice cylinder container. Actually, I think I'm gonna store my spare parts in here. This is all the stuff that comes in. It's nice, it's pretty much like four pieces right here. Cool. I'm gonna separate each one of these pieces and then we'll get started to assemble them. You're gonna get some washers, some hardware, so one set of camera cages, eight millimeter button screws. Then you're also gonna get some eight millimeter countersunk screws. You also get some 10 millimeter, some 12 millimeter, and 16 forearms. You get the bottom plate, you, well, you get the bottom plate, then you get the mid bottom plate, squash plate, bridge slash key, and a nice top plate. So the really cool thing about this frame is two different geometry styles. Either have a true X or a squash stage. So right now I have it in the true X configuration. To achieve the uh, squash stage, flip the arms over. Pull this one out, flip it. That's it. So you could choose however you want to. There you go, dead cat. What we're gonna do today is make this into a true X. You take your bottom plate. So one side's gonna be nice and flat. The other side is going to have some notches that are in there. Grab four of your 16 mil screws, put them on the most outer holes on the back, and then the widest holes up in the front. And then you just want to flip the row over so that they're just standing straight up. You take your bottom plate with the screws facing up, you slide down your first arm. Nice, nice, hard, tight seal on there. Muscle this one through for a second. Got to get this in here. Take the last one, lift it up, and then snap her in. We got to put the squash plate on. Unless you're running a 20 by 20, what I like to do is I like to just take them out. So what I'll do is I'll take a, a two mil tool, just hold it in my hand like this, and then hit it. Pops right out. Sometimes they take a few extra wax to get out. But now I have extra. If you were gonna just use 20 by 20, you would keep those and you would get rid of these ones for 30 by 30, but you definitely need these right here for sure. We're gonna just slide this, push it down. Everything is pretty much locked in there. You feel how stiff it's snapped in there and it's not even tied down basically. So then put the standoffs on, just hand tighten it. You don't need to crank down on these ones. I don't like to crank down my hardware and stuff. I just make it nice and snug and then I'll check it once ever so often and everything. So right now, going nowhere. Check that out. Put on the back standoff. So this one takes one of the button heads, and then we put on the fifth and final standoff. Tighten these ones down, 12 millimeter hex. These definitely will have to screw in there a lot tighter. <sighs> oh. 
hand cramp right there. Next thing we got to do is the camera cage. There's two, two sides. There's a side that's beveled, that's indented. We want this to be on the outside and the flat, smooth side on the inside. We're going to grab an 8 millimeter screw, put it in the first hole to the right if you're holding the front end to the left side. Get it nice and lined up. Put our fingers on it so it doesn't move, of course. And then we will just start threading it in. Don't need to make this tight either. And then we'll take the other side, do the same thing. Hold on to it, bring it up, screw her all the way in. They uh, will come with inserts that you can put your camera right in here. What you would need is the 12 millimeter screw next. And then you would leave thread that one all the way up and then the thread will go inside the TPU mount hold it all together so I'm gonna bypass that the next thing to also talk about is this PTX slider what this is meant for is you could put your Vista right on there this slider goes right in these grooves and that allows you to adjust where you want your VTX to be so if you need more room in the trunk, boom, move it forward, you know, vice versa. So this thing's pretty cool. I actually made this one right here, houses it in TPU. You get these two little square nuts. You only need one. Put that bad boy in the center, right like that. One of these washers, take the eight millimeter, Thread it. She's locked. Locked in the place. I want to go ahead and put the lipo pad on. Just peel off this red M3. It'll expose like a gray, softer side. Careful not to touch it. Where the top of the crown is, that flat top is kind of like where you want to aim it to be. Well, you could see. You could judge it. You want it to be all in the center in between all those little creases and then you just press down and voila you got your lipo pad this thing is tough let me tell you it's kind of hard moving it around but it'll definitely keep your your lipo in there go ahead and put these screws on around the edges these counter countersunk screw eight mil and that's pretty much it there is tpu parts that you can get they're on thingiverse there's also if you go to the parat frames a website you can go to the shorty landing page of the product and then there's a link that gives you the assembly manual and that also has it in french and it also gives you the links right to the thingiverse page where you can get all of the 3d prints right here what we would want is punch and shorty right here it's all linked together so this is kind of like some of the some of the stuff that is in there GoPro mounts, wire management, VTX slider. The one that's on the drone right now is rosin printed, action mounts, different various stuff, your arm protector. We put everything in here like that you would need so you can go and pick out the files that you want. Um, I will be uploading my 3D prints very shortly. And then once you're done, you're like kind of wondering like wait a second i have all these extra screws these big ones right here these are for the stack screws there's a bunch of extra screws you get and then all these extra are meant for your motors if i need for future builds or anything like that i just go right in here and i pull them out these are all torx bits. got rid of all my regular hardware all my frames are torx so why not use it you know i keep all my all my screws all the tools too as well because you never know they do wear out one more thing guys i don't want to forget to mention this i am doing a giveaway starting right now from the date of this video dropping the giveaway will be running for one month i will have the information linked down into the bottom of the description so please be sure to check that out and so you can have all the information that you need based off of the giveaway that i'm going to be doing it's a freestyle competition giveaway so i want you guys to bring it let's go have a good one guys and make sure you always have fun peace out